Hey friends, in this video we will learn how to create groups on Google Admin Panel. So just I logged on with my admin account and uh, I can see there are the multiple options are visible on my home page and here we are just going to create groups. So what I will do, I will click on the groups option. In the groups options you can see there are the two options are just showing over here first is the create group and second is the inspect group basically create group is used to creating groups on a google admin panel and inspect group is something like to inspect inside your groups or nested groups so i will click on the create groups for creating groups and uh, here i can see there are the few details which needs to be fulfilled then only you can create the group so there, there are the two options group name and group email address is the mandatory part so I need to specify the group name like IT team and uh, IT team at the rate info alias this is the email address of this group which is going to be created here you can specify the group description as well as also group owner so group owner is the person who can add and remove the group members inside the uh, inside the group which is going to be created if you want to leave it blank so just scroll it down now google has just provided uh, provided a new way for labeling first is the mailing and second is the security so basically through the labeling you can just uh, identify the groups like which type of group is there so mailing is the default labels inside the google group and uh, second is the security basically security group is just you are specifying that this group is used for the uh, sharing permissions and security permissions on the google share drive so we are going to only select with the mailing options but if you will select the security label so this cannot be modified later like see when we selected we are getting a notifications for controlling access to sensitive data and resources and you cannot remove this label so i will just leave it blank and i will go on the next here you can see there are the few uh, options are visible first is the access type and second is the who can join the groups and third is the allow members outside your organization so access type is the basically how group will be used so you can control the access type first is the public second is the team and third is the announcement only and fourth is the restricted and fifth is the custom basically group access is something like uh, how you will send the email how someone can send the email suppose this is the restricted so if you are going to restricted groups so something like hr at the rate infoelias.com so hr at the rate infoelias.com no one can send the email but if uh, suppose if you want to restrict the who will send the email and who uh, who will be the person who can uh, control the group membership and uh, how this will work so you can select with the restricted but if you are going to select the public anyone in an, in your organization can post to and join the group suppose it team at the rate infoelias.com because it team is only used for the it support purpose so anyone in the organizations can send the email they can ask for the support it related support so uh, this is the access type where you can specify the group uh, how we how you are just controlling so if you are going to select the public so anyone in the organization can post to and join the group and if you are going to select the custom so this will be used uh, to control you can modify the settings over here manually one by one so I'm going to select currently with the public option so I will scroll it down and now you can see who can join the group so first option is the anyone in the organization can ask when you select this options it means people in the organization must ask and then be approved before they can join the group so if you go with the anyone in the organization can join it means people in the organizations can add themselves to the group directly it means without any uh, without any permissions they can be a member of this group and third is the only invited users it means 
the group owner can send the invitation and uh, they can ask someone to join the groups so if you will select this it means group member group owner can send the uh, invitation and uh, and the the person who just received the invitations they will send they will receive an email address they will received in a link for joining this group membership so i am going to select with the only invited users now the last option is the allow members outside or your organization this is very critical options of uh, of your group settings it means if you are allowing the members outside your organizations suppose if your email address is abc at the rate gmail.com and uh, group owner want to add this group inside uh, uh, add this email address inside this it team at the rate infoelias.com it means they can add only when this options will be on but by default this is off so you can just modify it as per your business requirement if your um, if your business uh, business owner is just asking to add someone from the external domain you can you need to just put it on then only you can uh, invite or you can add the email address from the external domains like at the rate gmail.com or at the rate xyz.com so i'm just going to select this option create group so once i create group so i can see it team group has been created and all the settings which we have selected has been also saved and later we can modify the settings as well what you can do next you can add the members to the it team so here you can see the group of op group options is visible here there are the few of tabs are visible first is the add members once you create the group so what next you need to do you need to just add the members or if you have added the members later you can uh, remove it as well you can uh, you can uh, delete as well you can uh, uh, upload the bulk users as well so first I will do it manually one by one suppose this is the uh, email address which I am going to adding inside this group so I will click on the add to group the user has been added so in a group you can also add a nested group if you have other group which you have created earlier uh, so you can add the groups as well inside the groups so now upload members it means if you want to upload multiple users multiple email addresses so you can attach the csv file and how csv file will be created you can download a blank templates in the blank templates once you will be downloaded once you will download it you can add the details of the email address addresses which you want to add so this is the way now download member list csv file if you have added the members in your group and if you want to download all the members so what you can do you can download the members so once you will download the members you will get the uh, csv file if you want to select the format like google sheet so just select this and uh, currently selected column what are the columns will be add, uh, will be downloaded members email address role type and all all five columns show all so this is the column which will be downloaded i am going to download this so only we will see there is a one member which is the part of this it team groups this will take some time to download it from the google It is just uh, it is still uh, in uh, progress. So uh, next thing we will see. Now move on the labels. See this is the label options which is showing over here. The default label which we selected the mailing and uh, you cannot modify as well. So uh, this is the way which you can follow to create the uh, group um, groups on the Google Admin Panel. You can add the groups. Even you can also remove by selecting the group members uh, from your group 
if you have multiple users you can select any one of them and if you want to add or remove all of them just you can select all the group member members from your groups and you can just click on the remove members as well and here you can also see the change role currently this user is the uh, roles having the members so what you will do you can change it either owner or manager so in the later video we will see what are the uh, roles and how we can manage these roles as well 